Jeffrey Sturgis. I mean, we wondered who would be the Shakari Richardson of the meet. We talked about the 100, having four people who are sub-11, but no one person who's a absolute clear lock to win. And then she goes and does it. My goodness, 20 Shatari, 1079. This is an all-timer of a race. Clark, 1088. Nelson, 1090. So the four women who come in, sub-11, stay sub-11. Cambria Sturgis, my goodness. So now you got to think, all right, what's this This Olympic team? You got Richardson. Now Sturgis is in the mix. Who? We could we see a – I mean, who, who, who's, 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 gonna, who's your top three right now? Who would you put in your top three? Richardson won. I feel very good about Richardson being one. I, I said before <laughs> when we previewed the meet, I'm holding one spot for a college kid and then one spot for a veteran. And I think I'm going to stick with that. But now I just I don't know who the college kid is going to be. I mean, I could think we could say it's going to be Sturgis or Terry after the seasons they've had and after this performance right here. And then you'd keep one for, for a vet out there. But it tends to be – you're not seeing vets run it. Oh, sorry. You're not seeing vets even run 10 eights right now, let alone 10 sevens. And we had three college kids run. I mean, Tamara Clark ran 1088, Terry ran 1079, and Sturgis ran 1074. I could see that th those are the two, three, four at the Olympic trials. That it's going to be these three plus, yeah, plus Richardson, no, I, and that's going to be our four by one. That's our four by one. It's going to be these three plus Richardson, and that's our four by one. I think you got to give a little bit of room for the vets because of all the rounds coming back after championships. I'm just saying, I'm not, it's not a guarantee, but my goodness. I mean, what's the, what was Sturgis' Michael Cherry's not happy with the wind gauge. <laughs> <laughs> no I mean, one's she's run 10-9. Right. She's run 10-9. Let me, let me see what officially was. Not this, uh, bring up a world athletic stage. Well, look at, also look at, uh, I mean, this, this, her PB coming in might have been similar to Richardson's coming into 19. Yeah. She ran 1092 uh, at the East Prelim, win legal. Okay. 1092. Now go go back for me and find Richardson's PB going into Austin in 2019. I'm, I'm assuming it came from SECs or something like that in 2019. So she ran in 2019. She ran a lot. Damn. 1091. Yeah. Pretty similar. She ran 1091. Yeah. But that was wind aided. That was a wind aided 1091. Her wind legal okay. PB was 1099. And she dropped about, so she dropped about two tenths. Yeah. And Sturgis Stur did the exact same thing. Yeah. I'm still in a little bit of shock. I mean, Dude, I that really, it, it wasn't even, it wasn't even close. No. Sturgis was had like a three stride lead after the first 25 meters and no one closed. Yeah. It was just like, wait, this, this is going to fall apart eventually. And it's just like, no, I'm just yeah. going to keep going and you can run as fast as you want behind me, but I have the lead and I'm not going to lose it. That was incredible. So what a, another big performance for North Carolina, a and we saw what the men did yesterday with the four by four with Randolph Ross with Trevor Stewart. Now women's champion here. 10 points. What was her reaction time? Can you zoom in on that? It seemed like it was basically simultaneous with the gun. Enhance, enhance. One, is that the best of the field? Yeah, 0.124. And then just, I mean, every part of that race looked perfect. I mean, the sprint analysts out there can disagree with me. But just in terms of uh, reacting to the gun, getting out before everybody else, and the, and the speed maintenance at the end was just top shelf all across the board. I mean... Wow. North Carolina A&T has arrived. Cambria Sturgis. Need to know the name there. That was incredible. Team implications here, Gordon. So SE got eight from Terry and they got two from Lene Tava Thomas. So I, you had him at 11. Yeah, I had him at 11. So they only got 10. So they went down one. But basically five points behind A&M right now, 65 to 60. Alabama and LSU are tied for third with 40, Georgia right there with 39, and then you get back down into the 30, 28, 27. Ma'am, all right. 
Still plenty of uh, events to so go. So who who do you but. think uh, Tiana Daniels is talking about when she says they in this tweet? Yeah, I said don't sleep I on and see A and T girl. They was talking about everyone else except her. Who's they? Uh, I don't know. You know, it's hard to tell. Sometimes people, you know, maybe they're referring to just the internet in general. Maybe, I mean, our chat, maybe it was our YouTube chat she was talking about because there was not very many oh, Sturgis maybe, picks. There, was a, there maybe, was a lot of maybe Terry, the broadcast? I think I know who it is. The broadcast. It's the broadcasters. I think probably because we don't have the audio on, but apparently the, the broadcasters just didn't talk about, they were, you know, obviously talking about Tiana Daniel, not, not talking about um, TT and then talking about Cam, uh, the, Kemba the Oregon Kemba woman, Nelson. Kemba Nelson. Yeah. Yeah, so that's probably why. Okay. But, I mean, that's – I mean, here's the thing. You can't talk about all eight people right beforehand and give them all equal treatment. You're going to go with the people who are the favorites with the faster PB, and then an upset happens. And, you know, now when she's on the starting line at the Olympic trials, she's not going to be ignored. They're going to talk about her, and that's how it works, right? So, uh, Plus 2.2. How different the conversation would be if there was not that extra 0.2 meters per second. Women's 400 on the track. Here we go. A thing Mo time. 49.68. Her PB. That's her She's going to run 